Hello there, my name is Math Genius Zach, and today I'd like to show with you a new tool that I've created called the Origin Creator. Now the Origin Creator is a tool for creating custom data packs in Minecraft in a more visual manner than the typical way that you would expect, which involves creating a lot of JSON files, putting them into a specific folder format structure, and then finally putting that folder or zip folder into the data packs folder of your Minecraft world. Now this process is very complicated, and so this is why I've decided to make this tool. Now the first thing that you'll note is whenever you come to this tool, using the link in the description below, is that you'll be greeted by a nice help page. Now of course you can navigate to this help page at any given time while using this tool by clicking the help button in the left hand side of the screen. All of your progress will be saved so you don't have to worry about anything whenever you click off and go back to the help page. The help page also provides useful information about what each of the different kinds of uh, well, different kinds of things inside of a data pack are, which you, when you click them, will bring you directly to the Minecraft wiki in order to describe the format and JSON format of those th of those things. I can't really get any more specific than things because Minecraft data packs are very powerful. So the first thing that we're going to do in order to showcase how the origin creator works is to, of course, create a data pack with it. That's exactly what the tool is made to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new recipe on the side by right clicking the recipes and then clicking the new file option underneath of it. From there, we can actually rename this file. Now, of course, I clicked off of it, so I have to right click the file, click rename. I'm going to name this dirt to diamond. So this is a recipe that will turn uh, dirt into diamond. So I'm going to specify a pattern which of course you can check the wiki in order to see what this, what any of these fields are, or you can hover over the list, the item, the item label on the left-hand side, and it'll give you a nice little description of what that item is. I already know what patterns are, so I'm going to create a pattern like this, which is an O shape with everything in a three, by three by three crafting table, except for the center item. Then I'm going to specify what each of these hashtags mean by creating a key item and setting it to Minecraft dirt. Now that we've done that, the next step is to create a result for the recipe. From there, that's pretty much it for creating this recipe. Now I'm going to export it to a data pack by clicking the to data pack button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and I'm going to be saving it to the data packs folder of my Minecraft installation. I'm going to load up the world which has the data packs installed inside of it. And now we're going to test out our recipe with the dirt that's in my inventory. Aha! You can see this is definitely not a vanilla recipe. And if we do the command data pack list, you can see that there is a data pack called mypack.zip, which we've generated from our from the origin creator. This is really awesome. Now, of course, the data, the origin creator isn't just limited to creating recipes. You can also use it to create predicates in Minecraft, loot tables, advancements and functions and even tags. But this could be very complicated and confusing. And so I leave this up to the wiki in order to describe how exactly this process works. You'll have to look into more detail and ask help from other people in order to understand how this works. Of course, there's one more thing that I'll describe to you, which is the meta page. The meta page is actually really awesome and that it allows you to rename your pack. Now this is only really applicable if you're actually exporting to a fabric mod, which this origin, which the origin creator also supports. You do not have to export your packs just to data packs. You could export them directly to fabric mods and use them inside of your mods folder too. But you can rename your pack to any other name. Let's call it, I don't know, this pack of awesomeness. You can see, of course, this is a really long name, so it seemed to, so it's spanning over two lines. And then if we ha are using a fabric mod, we can rename the mod ID. You can do the same thing with authors, version, and even a description. Now note, descriptions are, are a vanilla feature, so you can use descriptions with data packs rather than just mods themselves. 
But this has been it for me. I hope that you find this tool useful and uh, I don't know what else to say, but I hope that you find this tool useful and have a good day.